Hi guys. It's time for open jacket. And this is the fabric I'll be using. I'm going to fold with the highest calculated measurements and that's 12 inches, my hip. My hip is the fullest and it's 12 inches. So I'm going to fold by 12 inches. Now we're not starting with front like we normally do. We're starting with back. We're cutting back first because it's a jacket and it's open in front. It's closed at the back. So our back will be on fold and the front will be open. So we're going to cut the part that is on fold first. And that's the back. We don't need zip allowance. There's no zip allowance. Um, jacket length is 25. I need half inch at the upper part for allowance. Half inch at the lower part. I'll mark 12 by 26. This is all the fabric that I need from here to here. This is my first line and this is the hem of my jacket. So I'll make my body length measurements first. Okay. All the body length measurements I'll be taking, I'll be adding half inch to them. Nip to bust is 10. I'll do 10 and half. Do you understand? Nip to waist is 17. I'll do 17 and a half. Nip to hip, upper hip is 23. I'll do 23 and a half. Nip to lower hip, 25. I'll do 25 and a half. And then the rest is the allowance for the hem. So I'll do the same thing here. Mm. 23 and a half, 25 and a half. Okay, this is nip to bust. So I'm going to go up by one inch for my armhole for nip to armhole then i'll mark all the lines so. So this is nip to armhole, nip to bust, nip to um, waist, nip to upper hip, nip to lower hip. We don't need nip to under bust really because we're not accentuating the bust. We just do the regular dart. Okay. The next thing to do now is uh, dart. Remember that this is back. Back dart is calculated waist minus 1 divided by 2. So calculated waist is 10 and a half minus one nine and a half divided by two is four three quarter four three quarter plus half inch allowance to join it back together will be five one quarter so i'll mark on the bus point five one quarter on the waist five one quarter and on the upper hip five one quarter then half inch on both sides on the waist I just take it straight down okay so our dart is done the next thing is body circumference so your bust is bust plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2 waist is waist plus 2 divided by 4 plus 3. Hip is hip plus 2 divided by 4 plus 2. Alright, so I'm going to shape. And then here, straight down. Now to the neckline. We'll do the regular three, five. We're not doing one and a half, we're doing one because it's a jacket. It's freer than a regular blouse. So you want your shoulder, your arm to rest more in a jacket. You have um, more room in a jacket than in a dress. Then after that, I intend to use four inches for my width. Four inches for my width and two inches because it's a jacket 
it's high at the back it's usually a high at the back this is the neckline four by two and then we have that seven and a half seven and a half seven and a half then i'll just curve here for my armhole so basically we are done with back i'm just going to cut so let me quickly run through it again nape to ammo nape to bust nape to waist nape to upper hip nape to lower hip upper hip where your dart will stop yeah then you take your dart straight down remember that your dart is um calculated waist minus one divided by two and then for your neck you do the regular three eight and one the total neck width plus shoulder joining is seven and a half because for a jacket your shoulder joining extends more than your regular blouse so that's what we've done and then i'll cut don't forget to leave allowance when you're cutting your arm hole and your neckline you can either do the same thing here do the same your same dart line lines here and um pin it so when you are sewing you just hold it like this or you can cut through i'm going to cut through because i intend to line it so fraying of the ankara will not show on the other side but if i wasn't lining it i was just i would have just sewn it like this so that we don't have um the fabric fraying So you notice that I didn't cut it up to the bust point because when I'm sewing, I'm going to start from here. I can't start from where I've cut already. I have to start from above it. So I'm going to start from the exact bust point when I'm sewing. And this is done. For the front now, this is what we're doing, something like this. So because of this style, this thing here that looks like a waterfall jacket, this is going to make us add like five inches to the... To the measurements so we folded by 12 in by the back now i'm going to fold by 17 because i need the 12 and i need another five inches for the, the waterfall i folded 17 by 25 and then i'll just mark so this is my center front because it's open yeah so your own can be unfold and you open it later. I did this because I was trying to manage my fabric. So don't expect that your own too must be open. It doesn't matter. So from here, I'll mark five inches inward. That's where the measurements will start from. Then I'll start my regular measurement from here. So this is out of my measurement. It's just for that shaping that we want to do, the waterfall effect we want to get. So from here, I will now start my measurements. I will do my first line, do my body length and all of that. Then three, five, three, three, eight, and one yeah okay neck width four bust measurement ten and a half waist ten and a half and hip 12. Okay, then I'll do my dad. Boss point is seven, so three and a half plus half inch to join it back. That's four. Four, four and four. Then half inch on both sides here. I can now shape my armhole. Then remember, midpoint, midpoint, 
four three quarter we go in by half and then mark here to meet here to meet here and back here so it goes in and comes back out all right for the neckline now we've done four and then from here that's my fault okay here from here is i don't have a neckline per se i'm just going to take it from here so this where's my sketch this part i want it to be at the under bust this part so this is my bust point my under bust is 13 i can just mark it here this place is 13 so i'll just come from here to here mark one inch so that part is straight down and then from here to the length of my jacket basically we're done now so i want it to have this shape it's not straight this part this part is not straight it's curved like this like this this is the blouse it's not straight like this it's like this sure you understand that shape is what i want us to do so i haven't even cut this that though. let me cut this that. so that shape let's go back to the shape we're talking about here side back side front so what i'm just going to do is measure go up by two inches here go up by two inches come here for, by four inches i just shape like this leaving the allowance out of it do you understand this place has to be straight because all of this will go inside this is where your shape will start from so one and a half inch allowance like this then you shape this mm -hmm. for back we're going to cut the exact thing for the back but for the front because of these guys these guys that we open up when you wear so this is what your jacket looks like This is what your jacket looks like when you wear it it's going to open like this Sure, you get it's not cool that this is what we'll be showing so we are going to have to add this same fabric to the lining so that when you open it up like this it's still the fabric that is there to some extent before you now start to have your lining so that's why i said you're not cutting the exact thing but for the back nobody sees anything at the back so let's cut the back first since it's the exact same thing and then we move on from there remember that your folded parts have to align they have to be exactly on the same line so that one is no more than the other i can cut now always make sure that your fabric and lining are sitting neatly before you cut okay this guy is done let's move on to the more complex one the front all right so you have to determine where you want your lining to stop and your fabric to start from it also depends on how much fabric you have left so let me see where do i want my if i open i'm going to like if i wear the jacket and open it's going to open to like here open to like here that means all of this place has to be the fabric so let's just say so this is where it is so let's just say i go a little more in maybe one and a half or yeah one and a half inches in so this is where it is this is one and a half inches so what i'm going to do is i want to cut the lining for it so I'm going to do this 
all the way to here. This is the lining I'm cutting. This one, I'm going to cut it on fabric. So when I'm cutting now, after cutting, okay, let me let me cut it. I'm strong with this one. Let me pin it though. So I pinned it already because it was starting to give me issues. So I was saying that this is this is where I want it to stop. But I'm not going to cut my lining at this exact part because I need allowance to join that fabric back to the lining. So I need half inch allowance at the lining and I'll need half at the fabric that I'm going to cut to. So this place now will be fabric. So let me measure the widest parts. I use it to fold seven and a half. Remember that it's not actually seven and a half I need. I still need half inch to join this place. So I need eight. So is this guy up to eight? It's more than eight, sir. So let me do this. So of course this part will be straight. This part here, the part that is here. So I'm just going to place this, place this like this, placing it with this half, this half inch that we added to the lining. This half inch that we added to the lining, this half inch here is where I will place this guy on. Okay, and do the same thing here, half inch here. Uh -huh. Then. I'll cut the shape out. Look at it again and see this half inch that is with that um, I added to this guy. I placed it on top of this one such that there's half inch down here too. Did the same thing down here and then I'll cut. Okay, so I can remove this. And then just cut this. This guy will be joining this guy here so that when you turn the jacket. This is what you have there. And then we're done with cutting fabric and cutting lining.